Thank you. And if we get any update on that suspect vehicle or what to look out for, we'll be mm -hmm. sure to share that with you all on air and online as well. Well, we're also digging into court documents released today in the Catholic University murder last week that claimed the life of a Kentucky man visiting the district. Those court documents now show that the suspect arrested yesterday violated probation several times, but apparently kept getting another chance. Now a judge is holding him behind bars. Let's get right over to Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez live outside of D.C. Superior Court. Stephanie, what's the latest? Shamari Jacqueline, the suspect held until his next hearing slated for July 20th. And while it was a week ago today on scene, witnesses described in court documents seeing a shaggy suspect running from the scene today in court. A trimmed suspect appeared. We're talking about 22-year-old Jaime Macedo, who is charged with first-degree murder while armed, accused of killing 25-year-old Max Emerson, the teacher visiting from Kentucky. Guys, uh, we have a new look at the suspect arrested. Court documents released today say that Emerson, the teacher visiting, was seen on surveillance video with his hands raised in a don't-shoot manner at around 7.50 last Wednesday morning. This was on Catholic University's campus, the 25-year-old on a way, on his way to an event called the Library of Congress's Teacher Institute. Information also released says, according to surveillance video, at one point, the suspect gets close and tries to snatch something from the victim. Police say Emerson then tackles the suspect to the ground. There's a short struggle and then ends with Emerson facing down. At least two witnesses describe seeing a man running away. Police are calling this an attempted robbery and shooting. Now, guys, it was said in court that DNA evidence from a ski mask found on scene traced back to Macedo, the judge deciding to hold him not only due to the evidence in this case, his criminal history, and a history that involves the suspect violating probation multiple times. Uh, I do want to let you know as well, the evidence includes a cut-up GPS that investigators say was found inside where the suspect was staying when a search warrant was executed yesterday. Now, we did ask a court spokesperson about a previous court docket entry that points to multiple probation violations, but a certain judge giving the suspect another chance to get in compliance. We were told by that spokesperson that they are prohibited per the D.C. Judicial Code of Conduct from discussing those matters. Guys.